shield on that bitch. I can mind my headshots. Alright, Jay. This What's up you guys, Gourmet J here bringing you this true hybrid AR build, a build that kind of brings back 1.7 vibes, you know, if you're a Division 1 veteran, you know what I'm talking about, uh, but this one is actually a little bit different because you're still pretty dang tanky, so I wanted to create something that is not part of the meta, um, I love ARs, and with SMG still being part of the new, the new meta, which is the uh, LNG wave, um, I really wanted to create an AR build that is viable, especially with people saying that ARs are, are have been nerfed and they're not really viable. <clears throat> so with no further ado, let's get straight into it. So I'm using three piece Providence, one piece Gila, one Fenris, and one Douglas and Harding. So as far as the weapons, I'm using the AKM and the Chatterbox. Uh, the reason I'm using the AKM and not the military or the black market is because I couldn't find a a military or a black market that had this much base damage so as you can see I have 26.1 base damage that's really high for an assault rifle I have optimist which uh, offers weapon damage um, which is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the mag so yeah I'm, I'm putting out a lot of damage especially since I have a shorter a smaller mag and I'll get into that for a second uh, I have Allegro which gives 10% rate of fire and recharged and re <clears throat> I have Allegro, which gives 10% rate of fire and recharge while equipped skills deployed at full armor have 25% duration changes and ammo. So I'll get into this for a second. As far as the mods, I have 10% accuracy. I have 7% headshot damage and 5% crit hit chance on the, the grip. And of course, with the AK, the black market or the military AK on the muzzle, you have the option to uh, put, you know, stability or accuracy or optimal range on there. But the, with the regular AK, you don't have that option. But 
uh, with uh, other things in the build, it compensates for that. So I'll get into that for a second. And also for the grip, I can only put crit chance on here and not reload speed. But I'll, I have other things in the build that compensate for that. And then for the secondary, I, have the, I use the chatterbox for the third talent, blabbermouth, while holstered, reloading your weapon within five seconds after kill, grants 20% rate of fire for 10 seconds. And so basically I'm getting 30% rate of fire uh, with that Allegro as soon as I drop somebody. As far as my holstered, um, my uh, sidearm, I'm using the D50 for the third talent protect deploy while equipped. This weapon grants 10% bonus armor while deploying a skill. I actually need to get the other, uh, the other talent, uh, protected reload while equipped. This weapon grants 10% bonus armor while reloading. So I, I throw this on usually, but I, 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 when I was farming, I kept this on. So in need actually, of I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> switch this back. So it brings my gear score down just a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, so getting into the build, with three-piece providence, you get 10% skill power, 8% health, and 5% weapon damage, and as you can see, I have just about 240k armor, I only have 51k health, and I'll explain why, and that I have 2,467 skill power, so on my mask, I have 20.9k armor, 267 skill power, 4,719 health on kill, and I have empowered on here to give me 10% skill power, so with the skill power, I only got the skill power that was needed. So I'm not trying to go overboard with skill power. As far as, um, I'll go into the Providence pieces first. As far as the gloves, I have Providence gloves that offer 20.1K uh, armor. And as you guys, you guys can see, these armor rolls on this gear are pretty low. See, like 20, I have gear that has 23.4K armor. So this build is not min-maxed. I could have way more armor. I could get around, I could hit that 250 cap if, you know, if I went for the pieces that had more armor. <clears throat> as far as the gloves, I have 63 uh, skill power on here and 7% assault rifle damage, which is modified. I tried to roll 10% on, but it brought it down to 7 due to, to modification. And the talent, I have Devastating, where it offers 5% weapon damage. So the gist of this build is not to worry about crits too much. You're going for weapon damage so that you can get optimal damage on for ARs. And then for my knee pads, I have Providence knee pads, where I get 10% skill power, 8% health, and then uh, the 5% weapon damage with 292 skill power modified again, and then I have power for that 10% extra skill power. And then since... I was, uh, you know, running around with the build. I didn't even notice in my matches. I didn't have what this extra weapon damage on here, so I could have been hitting way harder. So what I do for these mods, I try to go for weapon damage, headshot damage, or an optimal range. <clears throat> so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the 1.5% weapon damage, the 2% headshot damage, and 3% optimal range. Okay, and then as far as my backpack, I use the Gila backpack for this 5% to total armor. Once again, I have low armor on here, so if I get a backpack that has even more armor, I'd be in a great place. I have 6,775 bonus armor, 3% weapon damage, and 9,787 health. I didn't go for skill power because I didn't need to overkill. I just needed enough to unlock the mods for me to get strong heals. I have 10% armor on here by Hardened from Hardened, and I have On the Ropes where weapon damage is increased by 25% while skills are on cooldown. So the reason I went for on the ropes instead of safeguard is because with the nerf to safeguard, <clears throat> um, it didn't really feel too necessary to use, especially with since the, with the heals that I get, it replicates um, safeguard. It's not as strong as safeguard because that's 125% healing. But with the healing that I get from my Kim launchers, it, it makes up for it, especially with all the shots that I get. So with on the ropes, basically what I like to do in the beginning of the match, I have either six or seven uh, shots in my, my Kim launcher. So I'll drop one in the beginning of the match, probably two, and I'll have either four or five left. And then when uh, I'm engaged, about to engage in combat, uh, I try to gauge whether the person has a defender drone because a lot of people like using the defender drone and, you know, I, I took it off because I was sick of... <laughs> I was sick of shooting people, emptying my entire mag in somebody, and it was immune, 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 immune. It was, it was pretty frustrating. So I said, you know, what you put out is what comes back to you. So I took it off, and I said, you know what, let me go ahead and instead of complaining about it, let me find a counter to it. So I went ahead and threw on the jammer, which is uh, this right here. You send the pulse skill, 
and I have the jammer on here. The jammer pulses outwards, overloading and disabling hostile electro electronics. So basically it disables their defender drone and it, it's like it has a thing like a radius thing. So you can, the longer you hold it, it like expands the radius and it's the radius is pretty, pretty far. It's pretty good. And then uh, well, if you want to pop it immediately, if you're in, a, in an engagement, somebody's right in your face, you could pop it. It has a nice little uh, small radius as well. And I'll get into the spe specifics with this. But basically what I'm saying is I like to pop that in the heel. That way I get that extra 25% damage. <clears throat> Let me go back to my backpack. I get that extra 25% damage and that I still have four or five heels left that I can run with. And depending on if I'm fighting multiple people, I'll drop heels or from the surprise situation, I'll drop that heel that I can shoot in. So I'm, I'm shooting and healing at the same time. And as far as the mod, I have a defensive system mending mod where I get 2,580 2, bonus armor, 3% total armor, and 2% protection from elites, which helps for, with, with PVE. And then also for the Occupy DZ with the NPCs, annoying NPCs that are just so annoying when you're trying to PVP. But that's another story. And then I have an offensive system mod slot where I get 2% weapon damage, 3% assault rifle damage, and 1% damage to armor. So this 1% damage to armor actually works. Um, it's pretty uh, upsetting that the two piece from the True Patriot doesn't work. So, you know, uh, that was initially what I was going to use for this build so that I can get that damage to armor. But, you know, I had to improvise. And then going into the chest piece, I have a, a Fenris chest piece. It has 44.1k armor as you can see i can have more armor uh this gives you the 10 percent assault rifle damage i have 383 skill power five percent weapon damage i have 10,592 health i have berserk on here with 10 percent weapon damage for every 10 percent of max armor depleted requires a shotgun smg or assault rifle so since i'm using the assault rifle i'm running with that and then i have hardened which gives me 10 percent armor and then as far as the utility mod slot, I have 200, I mean, 125 skill power, 228 chem launcher skill power, and 98 secret skill power. I'm not utilizing this secret skill power. I just wanted this 228 chem launcher skill power and this uh, regular skill power right here. And then going into my holster, I have a Douglas and Harding holster. I would like to have an O'Rauli Holdings holster so that I get that extra that extra 5% in, in accuracy, but I wasn't able to find a holster that had this much skill power and still had a talent on there where I could throw devastating on there. So if I can find an Araldi Holdings holster that has more armor like this and has these th uh, this talent and these attributes, then I would definitely go for that. So if you guys have one, I would definitely go with Araldi Holdings. <clears throat> So I have 695 skill power on here, and then I have devastating with 5% weapon damage. And as far as the utility system, I have 73 skill power, 1% increased blind duration, and I have 5% reload speed. So this 5% reload speed helps make up for um, missing out on the, <clears throat> the grip that offers 10% reload speed on my AK. So as far as the skills, like I was saying, I'm using the jammer, and I with the mods that I have on here, I have a 45.3% 45, 45 cooldown reduction. So this basically drops my, let me go into the actual mods, I'm sorry. So if I take this off, my cooldown is originally 120 seconds. So with this cooldown, this really helps out, it brings it down to 61.9 uh, seconds. And then as far as the second mod, I have the 32.4 effect uh, effect duration. Of course, if I take it off, it is, what is it? Effect duration is five seconds. And then if I add this mod, it's for seven seconds. So it adds an extra two, uh, two, two seconds on here. And then going into the money right here, the chem launcher. So I have seven ammo and I'm, I'm healing right now for 69,000, almost uh, 70,000 HP. So I can heal a whole lot more. I can heal for almost 100,000 if I switched out the um, ammo and I put the heal on here. I can heal for 93k. But the reason why I chose to go with the ammo shots and not the, uh, the actual heal is because the ammo is actually, uh, it, it has a better value to it, I should say, because you still, you only get three shots. And with one shot, yes, you can heal dramatically. But like I said, with with my play style and with me wanting to get on the ropes, 
um, the, this ammo is necessary, especially when you're fighting in multiple people <clears throat> in, 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 in engagement. Having this extra ammo is clutch. So, you know, if, if you like playing back and you, you know, you like playing the distance, then this extra healing right here, this 47.8% that gets you up to almost 100K, that might be worth it for you. But for me, I'm a running gun player. Yes, it's a cover based shooter. I still use cover to my advantage, but I like moving around. That's my play style. I enjoy that. So this extra ammo helps out. And I still have this 38.1% heal, heal on here. <clears throat> And that's the most I could actually get from this mod slot, this area of my uh, of my my Kim launcher. So, like I said, I could have a lot more healing, but with these extra four shots, I can heal with. If I drop three, I can uh, two two to three. I can drop pretty pretty fast. I can heal pretty fast. Excuse me. For for PC, I've actually been using the sharpshooter a lot more simply for these three talents right here. So. Uh, perks, I should say, right here. We, I have 30% increased weapon stability, reduced recoil, and faster rea reacquisition of targets. So that recoil, especially since I'm using the AK, uh, that recoil is pretty helpful. And then I get this 30% increased reload speed. So this just gives me a whole bunch of reload speed. And then I get this 25% extra headshot damage. So headshot damage is really, really good, especially on PC. <clears throat> But with the AK, unless I'm pretty close or within a, a good distance or a, a good proximity of my, my target, um, I still go for body shots. So that's why that's why I still use the uh, the survivalist specialist, uh, specialist. But this is very, very good. You know, you could probably use it on console as well, especially if you're, you like to run and gun. These two are pretty nice, especially this reload speed. This really helps, especially when you're trying to run and gun. But as for right now, I'm sticking with the survivalist for this 15% weapon damage, and then I get this 15% outgoing healing for my teammates. Okay, and let's go into the actual stats of the build. So, I have 26,349 weapon damage. I only have 5% crit chance. Don't need it with this all this weapon damage. This weapon damage, I don't need... It doesn't matter what distance you're in. Well, uh, optimal range would really help, but... If you're in my face, I'm not worried about a crit. I have 26k to pump into your face, and I have a uh, uh, a high RPM. <clears throat> I have 20, I have 25% crit damage, 64% headshot damage. My range is 31 meters. I have a 2.4 uh, second reload time. I have a 5% reload speed bonus. Could be higher if I put the specialist on uh, the um, the sharpshooter specialist on specialist on. <laughs> Sorry, and then I have 35% assault rifle damage and uh, as a damage bonus and 26.5 all weapons damage bonus so there are spaces where you can get more weapon damage um, i would if you guys could do that i would definitely take advantage of that so that's getting into the gist of the build you guys um i i came up with this build to help fight against the meta uh, i got sick and tired of being hip fired by lmgs and and people you know rushing up to me with with SMGs, but uh, you know, with this the prior build, the, the uh, build that was basically the prototype build, because I wanted to make this build in in the beginning when the game first came out, but with the mods and the skill power, it was it just wasn't it. I couldn't attain that. So now that I can attain the skill power needed to unlock the mods for my skills, this is one of the build. This is the, one of the first builds that I wanted to make when the game first dropped. So it helps with the healing. You do a massive amount of damage, and you're still you still have a good amount of armor. And like I said, this is build is not min maxed, so you can get a bunch more armor. You can be, you could sit over two hundred and fifty armor, easy. So appreciate you guys coming through. Um, you guys definitely, you you would like. To, I suggest you try this build out, and you do not need an AK for this build. I almost forgot to show you guys this. Um, I've actually been using the P four sixteen. Oh, I have a 19.6 base damage on here where I have Optimus, uh, Allegro, and Double Duty. While the holstered reloading from empty gives you a 20%, uh, gives you 20% of your magazine back as free ammo, can occur once every 30 seconds. <clears throat> and then I use the FAMAS as well. I love using the FAMAS. This FAMAS has uh, uh, Optimus and Allegro as well. And then I have the uh, Protected Deploy 10% armor while deploying a skill. So... Uh, yeah, you can use anything. I actually like using this one because it has a higher base damage. This is 
Yeah, imagine if a monster that has 19k da uh, base damage. <laughs> so this one I have extra, uh, especially since the mag is so small and it it the rate of fire is pretty fast. Um, I like using extra, so it gives me like six. It gives me six more bullets in, in my mag, and then with, with one on the chamber, I get 37. So, yeah, this this build is viable with any AR. Of course, with me, I like using the AK because I like the challenge of maintaining my recoil and you know if i maintain my recoil uh, i reap the benefits of the massive amount of damage that it outputs and the acr acr is viable as well just haven't found another good acr i could roll optimus on here but i want one that has allegro but that is the basis of the build you guys i appreciate you guys coming through definitely suggest you guys try this out if you're a lover of ars and you're you don't want to be caught up in the current meta um, I'm trying to push more of these builds out for you guys. So you definitely want to like, like this video so it can help me push more videos out. And then, uh, you definitely will subscribe so that you know when I'm putting these, uh, when I'm uploading these videos and turn on that notification bell. So catch you guys later. Appreciate you coming through. Much love. Peace. Okay, cool, epic, very epic. I have my fucking... My <sighs> doom out. No, all demolitionists too. Anakin? They're all gonna have grenade launchers if we get all the spenders. There's one right under me. What? He didn't take damage. Yeah, defense, I can't hurt him either. Defense, defense boost. They have full armor. I hit him in the head. Got him, baby. Get off my man. Right. Dude. Thanks, bro. Got you. <laughs> they are, I agree. Oh, he, he blinded me. I can't see. Daniel, where's he at? He's... He's right across, right in front of me. You can see where I'm facing. You know what? Oh, they're pushing right down the middle on me. Got one. Mm -hmm.